Hello everyone, my name is Minghao Xia. This is my colleague Nagendra Badiga. Today, we're going to show you installation and operation of automotive drive inverter at full power within our powered electronic test bench within 50 minutes. So as we can see here, here are three typical motor traction inverters. And we're going to use this inverter here today. So nowadays, people are still using cumbersome rotating test beds for inverter testing. And this requires motors, mechanical setups, as well as the dynamometers. To test the inverters on a rotating test bed requires hours and days for preparations. We will now show you how this can be done within a few minutes with our e-motor emulator. So this is our power electronic test bench. It emulates the high voltage battery and the e-motor. There's no real battery and this is the technological highlights that our e-motor emulator emulates precisely the e-motor. We do not discuss the test bench here today. We go to the inverter installation directly. So this is our inverter setup. These three cables is the AC connection of our inverter. These two cables is the DC connection of our inverter. These two cables is the low voltage supply to the controller of the inverter. This is the rotor sensor interface. These blue pipes is the coolant, whereas cooling our inverter. This is the earth strap, which has to be grounded. Now we have a setup according to the following block diagram. As we can see, the battery is being replaced with the battery emulator and the e-motor is being replaced with the e-motor emulator. We have a bi-directional power flow. After we turn on the 12-volt supply for the inverter, we will start checking the rotor position sensor interface. As we can see now, the inverter reads the rotor position indicated by the red line is zero degree at our rotor speed at zero RPM. Now my colleague starts to rotate the e-motor. As we can see, when we increase the speed, our rotor position as well as the rotor speed start to change over the time. So after we finish this preliminary check, we will start focusing on the parameterization of the e-motor that we want to emulate. Now we start to parameterize mechanical, electrical, and electromagnetic data. The electromagnetic data is consists of multi-dimensional flux tables. Now we will start the E machine, which means power in high voltage. Optionally, we could assign certain safe phase current limit to the system. As mentioned, it took us less than 15 minutes to complete the entire setup. Now we are ready to perform the first inverter test. Our first test is the torque step response. So now we will run our e-machine at 500 RPM and we will demand the torque at 200 Nm. Now we are visualizing the currents in three phases at this operating point. As we can see now, there is a high magnitude of current flowing through three phases. We're making a torque step change from plus 200 Nm to minus 200 Nm. As we can see, this is the torque step response and this is the current response. We are transitioning instantly from motor mode to generator mode. As you can see, we complete the entire test within a few seconds. We can automate this test case and we can extract the inverter efficiency map over the wide operating points. Our next test is the inverter performance test at constant torque with different speeds. As we can see, our system is running currently at 500 RPM and 100 Nm. As we increase the speed from 500 RPM to 1000 RPM, the frequency of our phase current also increases. When we decrease the RPM from 1000 back to 500, the frequency of our phase current 
also decreases. One of the unique features of our testbed is that we can run in the inverter test at very low speed. For instance, we can run it from 500 RPM to 1 RPM. As we can see on the axis, it is currently running at 1 RPM. Today, we have shown a few of the many interesting test cases with our power electronic testbed. It took us only a few minutes to complete the entire test cases, whereas on a rotating testbed, it requires several hours. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.